All right, so back on this journey of making music and putting together templates. I ended up making a pretty cool track, but I quickly remembered that, I don't know if you guys know or not, but in DaVinci Resolve's Fusion, there is no audio right now. In regular Fusion, there is audio, but it kind of sucks. So I made this track. And I, when I went to go create a template around it, I quickly re-remembered that they haven't introduced it. So I finally decided that the East West subscription really wasn't for me. They have a lot of stuff if you're doing big things with like orchestra and stuff like that. For its price, I think that it's a very good value, but I wanted to be able to you know, play with a little bit of everything because I don't know exactly what I want to create yet and I wanna have the ability to create a lot of different things. So what I ended up doing is I pre-ordered Complete 12 and then it came out and I've been just playing around with it for a bit. And that's how I made my first track, I used that. Then I quickly came to the realization that I can't do anything, I can't do much with it. So now I was trying to think of other things that I can do. Now is I'm going to make like little intro sequences, like very, uh, lightweight ones that just have like a logo and maybe some other uh, little logos that pop up for like social media tags and that sort of thing. So I've been playing with uh, Cubase and this is the kind of uh, little sound that I made so far. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff in the, in the new complete, but a rundown. So this one makes that first little bit, or it's up here more. Yeah, so it's like something like that. And then this guy makes the little little bell thing. So I um, created that and I was like, okay, that's cool. But the other thing that I wanna do to add a little bit more value is I wanna add a couple of other uh, audio tracks that will perfectly match up. So I'm still playing around with how I want to do this, but I was just playing around a little bit and this is the other thing that I ended up coming up with. So it's sort of something similar. I don't know what I'm going to be using yet. And then this one I'm still completely working on. And then there'll probably be like some type of little chime or something after that. I don't I don't exactly know yet. I wanted to just use the first one, create something that looks cool, and then make a bunch of like audio elements that go with that. So I'm looking for icons I can use. I've never seen this site before. It looks like you can use these for commercial. There's a couple that say Creative Commons, but... Alright, so now I have all of my icons in a folder. Here's a quick tip. If you take your, a folder and you bring it in, if you bring it in here, uh, it's just going to bring in the, the, the uh, whatever's in the folder, right? But... Instead of doing that, I don't know what the f If you take all of your icons and you bring it over here, it'll bring the folder in and then everything in that folder. So if you're trying to keep things organized, if you bring it over into this area, it'll create a bin and then inside the bin will be everything in that folder and the bin will be named whatever the folder name is. Now what the f is that? Telegram? What the fuck is Telegram? Somewhere above The city lights you're falling in love Still aware you know it is true That you are lost and this is a clue Love is forever Love is forever So 
So I gave up on that previous idea that I had and I decided to make like a glitch intro for like a logo. After I create something, then I'll go back and add all the music to it that I want. Just because I'm not that good with music yet and I feel that if I have the video, then maybe I can come up with some sound effects. Because I've done that in the past, so. Here's what I, what I have done so far. So you would be putting in your logo and it can be um, any logo, it just needs to have transparency. It can't be just a block of something because it won't, it won't show up for this, but yeah. So here's what it looks like. So that's the idea. Now I just need to add some types of sound effects to it to, to bring it in as an intro. And then if you wanted to, here is so this is just an icon that I, I got online and I just added it in here and you can tell that it's not white but then when it goes in um, it comes out here and the cool thing that I liked about what I did with this is any size your logo is it's going to illuminate the screen so it'll it'll add like this um, this illumination to it and then while it's being you know all like morphed around that illumination um, follows everything. Now let's see if we can make a sound effect to go with this. So my idea first was to render it out and then take it into Cubase, but I'm not that good with Cubase. What I can do here is I can make all my sounds, export it, bring it into a program I know. It's kind of backwards, but bring it into DaVinci, then chop it up, then just make that a um, an MP3 file or a WAV file, and then export just the audio, and then I'll add it in with this template, so. Alright, so I need to figure out a sound. Jeez, that's loud. How do I stop it? There we go. Your eyes. Ha ha, I figured it out. Okay, so I just had to turn off all these oscillators and then there's this noise down here. They have different types, but I just want like white noise, I think. Now that I have the sound, I just need to, I guess, just record it in, and then I'll have that sound that I can then use. So, Let's see what else I can do. Okay, so the little like freaks, the little thing like freaking out, we gotta make a sound effect for that. SMR. I don't know. I like. So let's just add in. Down there. How many different effects do I have? One, two. Oh, I forgot about this one. This one kind of like, like after the whole screen goes crazy, it comes back up and then it's like, Ew, right? So, and I hate that sound with passion. Okay, so I have that sound. Let's add in another one. Oh, let's see what some of these hits. I don't think I'd use a rise, but some of the hits might be good. Let's see. All right. 
So, where are we at? Here, cord. See what happens with this. Cut that shit and go like that. Okay, that sounds f horrible. There's no like method to this. I'm just trying to, you know, create a little bit more of a dynamic sounding. That, let's go to the beginning. Sounds and looks pretty good. Organize stuff and I have a little, like a lot of things like this up here. This isn't even connected to anything um, And I need to rename stuff so far It looks like it's going from left to right But it like goes left to right and then I have like one connection here So what I'll end up doing just to make this all organized Here's something cool that you can do is if you look at the the node that you are using right and then you hit F2 to copy that right what you can do is, uh, because that is coming out of the output, you can come over here, you can do a wireless link, and then you just put the input as that, right? And then you connect this to here, and it'll be the same thing. It'll just get that node from over here, um, and it'll just pipe it in here. You just won't have that connection. So that is, that's an easy way to like clean this up because now I can just take all of this and like this right here. If we take a look at this, um, when it comes in, what are we looking at here? When it comes in, um, what this first one's doing is it's doing like a chromatic aberration. So I have the first uh, node, it's just adding a little bit of a blur. And then both of these, these are just transforms and all they're doing is transforming a channel. It's just shifting one channel. One does red and one does green. And then um, they both get added in here. So then we have like this. So like the shift of the, the different channels and then that's how you get that look. So when it first comes in, it looks like that. And then it, it adds this to it, so. That's how we get that look. And then from there, we build everything else. So we have the scale lines and then we have like some noise. And what I wanted to make sure of is anything that gets added or moves that we make it visible. So like, it's like, if, I don't know if you've, like the tube TVs when they're on and let's say there's just one little thing on, you can see like the light bleed into the other areas. And I really wanted to have that, so. Um, let me show you how I d ended up doing that because that was actually a pretty cool thing that I uh, took me a little time to figure out how I wanted to do it because uh, one of the things that I use to do it takes up a lot of resources and that one thing so it comes over and then this is my first morph 
and it's just like uh, morphing everything and then it comes over and then here I have it doing a blur so it's just taking everything and this is one of the things that uses up a lot of resources and it's just blurring everything right because then I'm going to use that as a mask and then it it was blurring it but it was blurring it in a way that added a lot of um, alpha values so if you look down in here it shows the values and you can see like the alpha values see there's a lot of like alpha values so there's a lot of transparency there and I wanted to kind of get rid of some of that so then in here I just like boosted the gain so anything that had any type of uh, luminance value it just increased it I added that um, that that value to it so then I also then add it um, some noise that then moves and then it comes over here into this node and then that's where I get this um, the scan lines here so if we look at this shot here we have all of these scan lines right we have all of these scan lines and that's like just showing those scan lines so and then the noise as well is in there um, so then I wanted to uh, add some color in. So I have this like bluish color because normally like t uh, like the two TVs had like a little bit of a blue um, in there. So then all I'm doing is I'm overlaying the um, I'm overlaying all of my scan lines and my noise on top of that blue so like the black of the scan lines and then the partial um, because there is like transparency there those are, are coming through so then I get that like a little bit of a blue pigment um, in there to make that look pretty nice. Mm -hmm.